Dave Simon. I'm the co-owner of Prairie Rock Farms Incorporated. We're in a little town of Johnsburg. Um, we're talking about cover crops today and this cover crop is called Bursine Clover. It's the first time I've ever tried it. Uh, it's, it's supposed to die this winter. The real reason we have it is for the nitrogen credits. We're supposed to get between 40 and 60 units of N off this depending the size it gets and uh, next year it'll just be green manure. Um, I planted crimson clover in this field. We seeded it at 15 pounds to the acre. Uh, we also broadcast some rye for extra cover because of the hills. So we put on 50 pounds of rye and then we drilled the crimson clover into it. To, that's how we kind of seeded it. We didn't want everything in the same hole. Um, we're mainly using it for nitrogen credits. If the stubble only gets to be six inches tall, we might only get 20 units of N. But if it can get a foot or over a foot, we probably could get closer to 50 to 60 units that we can use for the corn crop next spring. We planted crimson clover and rye after we harvested uh, rye for seed this, this fall, or this summer, I should say. Um, the crimson clover we're hoping is gonna get to be a foot tall, because then we can, we can take more nitrogen credits for it. Um, we planted rye because of the highly erodible hill here. So we put on 50 pounds of rye, and we put in 15 pounds of crimson clover. And we also had a manure application on about half the hill here. We didn't get the, we didn't have enough to cover it all, but we can't really tell the difference. So.